All right, let's go ahead and get it on over to weather. How about yesterday in Albany? We hit 74 degrees. Now it wasn't quite a record, but boy, was it close. The record high on that day was 77 back in 1986, and we were 22 degrees above the normal. The average high for that day was 52. It was nice while it lasted, was it not? Then we got that cold front blowing on through late afternoon, early evening, and it led to some very gusty, blustery winds and periods of heavy rain. Not really thunder with that. That surprised us, but still, a gust of 57 in Pittsfield, 48 in Albany, 45 in Rensselaerville caused some issues. We had some trees down, some branches down. Glens Falls and Bennington, eh, not quite as intense, but still gusty, still blustery up north. Here's a look at the Albany skyline. It's actually cleared out a little bit faster than what we were expecting. Crystal clear out there now, so we expect most of the day to be mostly sunny. Let's go ahead and get you set with a look at the radar and satellite. The front that brought us all that active weather yesterday has moved on off to the east, spawned another area of low pressure. Um, and that is just east of Halifax over in Nova Scotia. Now, high pressure coming on in from the west will help to keep us clear throughout the day, but we're caught between the high and the low. And when that happens, you do stay a little breezy and a little bit blustery. Here's a look at temperatures across the northeast. Albany's actually dropped a little bit from 34 about an hour ago to 32 now. It's 30 in Glens Falls, 39 in Kingston, 20s out towards the west in places like Utica and Syracuse. That's kind of where our wind is coming from. So we're going to struggle to warm up too much, even as our friends downstate are already into the 40s. Here's the thing. Albany may be at 32, but it doesn't feel like 32 with that wind. You need to factor that in and come up with the wind chill value as we call it. Now this takes into account the fact that the wind makes our bodies lose heat faster. So it feels almost as if it's colder outside. It feels more like 19 in Albany instead of the actual temperature of 32. Over to the west, more feels like temps in the teens. You also have 19 in Pittsfield. A single digit feels like temp in Lake Pleasant. So grab the jacket, maybe keep it on today because we do get up to 45, but staying breezy, I really don't think it feels super comfortable out there, even if it's not all that far below average for this time of year. Typical normal high for today is 53. Nobody gets close to it. Down south, you may touch 48 in Kingston. Up north and off towards the west, you may struggle to get out of the 30s for your overall afternoon high. Tonight, 26 degrees. I think gradually we start to see temperatures dip into the teens up north into the Adirondacks. I've got 25 in Glens Falls, 28 in Kingston, 23 in Pittsfield, 27 in Cobleskill. So another chilly start to Monday. But you know what? Monday afternoon is looking a little bit milder. We get up to around 60. There's just a few showers by late afternoon. Here's 5 p.m. A few of them coming on down from the northwest into the foothills of the Adirondacks and the Mohawk Valley. Look at what happens though as we get further into the evening. More widespread showery activity as we kick off Tuesday. Now, most of us are well above freezing in the Adirondacks, like the high spots. Could there be a couple snowflakes mixing in? Same deal in the Green Mountains. It's not out of the question, but again, I wouldn't worry too much about wintry weather with this. Here's Tuesday morning. Still got the showers around. Right about lunchtime though, I think we start to see them depart. Tuesday afternoon still looks mostly cloudy but drier and our high temperature will be 59 or 60 degrees so overall not too bad out there you put it all together this is what it looks like on the seven day forecast one chilly day today second half of the weekend at least it's bright and sunny you'll need the sunglasses and the jacket then back to around 60 for both monday and tuesday wednesday we've got some showers later in the day high as 62 thursday 53 in the morning 64 in the afternoon more chance showers. I do believe that we clear out a little bit going into the end of the week, 34 Friday morning, 52 Friday afternoon. So yeah, it's a little bit chillier, but at the same time, it's much brighter. I don't know too many folks that'll be complaining about the 50s and sunshine. 55 on Saturday, nice, bright, sunny, seasonable is what we're calling it. Good day to get ready for Easter Sunday, which is just one day away from being on our seven day forecast.